meeting youngsters who are striving to overcome physical disability at a special school. The princess met pupils learning skills at a special centre at the Lord Mayor Trelaw College at Alton. It's celebrating its 80th anniversary this year. But her day began further south in Portsmouth, as Lisa Austin now reports. First stop for the princess this morning was Portsmouth and the offices of Relate, the marriage guidance organisation. Afterwards, outside, there was a chance for a quick walkabout and an informal word over the wall before heading north by helicopter to the Lord William Trelaw College at Alton. Nearly 300 youngsters with a wide range of physical disabilities receive a special education here, including pioneering treatment for youngsters suffering from cerebral palsy. The princess was shown some documents used 80 years ago to raise money for the college. 
Three were requested by the then Princess of Wales, later Queen Mary, for her three children. Her son Albert's fundraising realised the princely sum of one pound and 18 shillings. The princess met 17-year-old Andrew Blackburn, who's virtually speechless because of cerebral palsy, but can communicate through a special machine. There was a song for the princess from the lower school choir from their Christmas production, including a solo performance by Neil Armstrong. Music is tremendous therapy in itself. It's a way for them all to have a part, for them all to join in, for them all to be important, even in a group which is severely handicapped. And of course it's a way of expressing their emotions, any anger that they may have may be used through the music. And it's for fun, it's something that most of them have something to give. So that there is something for them to do in ways which they may not be able to join in in other subjects. Were they excited about the visit? Today? Very excited, yes. <laughs> I thought they weren't at first because I started doing choir practices about a fortnight ago, which is only when we knew about it, and uh, only a few trickled along, but as the fortnight's gone on, we've had a full <laughs> turnout, so they've enjoyed doing it enormously, yes. They like having something to work for, really. That's the great thing. The princess spent about an hour and a half at the lower school. As she was leaving, she met pupils from the upper school, which was visited by her husband, the Prince of Wales, two years ago. The whole school turned out onto the playing field to return the royal wave as the princess left by helicopter. Princess of Wales, I'm sure, enjoying her visit to Hampshire today. Princess Diana's eye-catching tartan coat dress clearly delighted the crowd waiting outside the Portsmouth branch of the marriage guidance service, now called Relate. She came here to see a brand new system of family counselling that's being tried out in Portsmouth. It involves talking to children as well as their parents. And today the princess spent 15 minutes listening to the problems of a couple with six children from two previous marriages. But what about her own marriage, so often the subject of newspaper speculation? Well, I don't know. They're, they're both together. Everybody goes their ups and downs in any kind of marriage. Whether you've been married five years or 50 years, you still cling together, don't you? Do you think she might be able to give some helpful advice to the families inside? Well, of course, yes, sir. she's got a mother, she's a mother of a young family and uh, she knows the day-to-day -day problems of bringing up young children. Of course, it's children that Princess Di loves to meet and the opportunity came later at the Lord Mayor Trelaw College near Alton, which helps youngsters with physical handicaps. 11-year-old Neil Armstrong, who has haemophilia, was chosen to sing a solo from the college choir's recent production of Noah. The song was called, Oh, What a Wonderful Scene, and for Princess Diana, it obviously was. Before she left, Cherilyn Smith produced a pink bouquet that had been hidden under a wheelchair. <laughs> the college has been helping handicapped children for 80 years, and today's visit will go down in its history as a boost for everyone's morale. Nigel Burwood, Coast to Coast, Alton. Central School.